Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for uh, the, the eclipse that's going to be on the 25th of October. It's going to be a solar eclipse, two degrees of Scorpio. So uh, let's see what is going on for you here, uh, Virgo. I don't necessarily think you are one of the signs that's going to be like super heavily influenced, but you know, obviously, if you have Scorpio placements, then definitely. Um, so <laughs> there you go. I actually know a couple Virgos that are uh, Scorpio rising. So, you know, there you go. But let's see what we have going on for you. It actually looks pretty good for you here, Scorpio. I mean, Virgo, sorry. I'm going to do that in every freaking reading. It's like when, whenever I have to talk about a placement, I always, <laughs> I always mess up, right? So bear with me. But uh, Virgo, you have this eight of wands. There's something about communication coming in here. Um, this looks really good to me, <laughs> just just in general. I feel like things are moving quickly. I wouldn't move too quickly in any situation. Um, you know, like let's say you're getting into a relationship or something. I would like take your time here because, you know, there's something about like needing to make sure that you don't just like rush right in. You know what I mean? It's like sometimes I think we meet a person, maybe, I don't know, maybe they look good, right? We, we just want to be all up in their face. I feel like this is saying like, hey, Hold your horses, right? Don't rush it. Don't like scare this person away. I feel like being like showing a little bit of restraint would be a good idea here, just so you don't scare someone off. I'm not saying you're scary. I'm just saying like, you know, we've all been there, right? <laughs> so, you know, make sure to chill, make sure to take it easy, play it cool, right? And I think things will go very well if this is a relationship. If it's not a relationship, and even if it is, I, I still feel like things are going to be moving very, very rapidly in your life. But I feel this has to do with balance because like, look, if we go like this, put it where, how it's supposed to be, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Like clearly your fortunes are changing quickly with the Eight of Wands. It's going to lead to a lot of victories here. I love it. But what I would say is again, Five of Swords over here, do not rush. Also make sure you're, you're doing things in balance because the Six of Pentacles says like maybe, you know, I, I just have this feeling, Virgo, I'm just going to spit it out. Okay. It's like if you're in a relationship and they like dominate all your time and you're not focusing on your business or your career, or even if you're retired, if you're not focusing on other things in your life, if something's coming out of balance right here. But again, you're watching tarot because tarot is not a prison sentence. Tarot is meant to show you things that you can avoid, that you can work with. You're meant to work with this energy, right? And so I would balance things out. You even have the justice card literally in the area of your closest relationships <laughs> saying balance things out, right? Uh, in your crossing energy, you have this Hierophant. Uh, interesting. Some of you could be like going through a divorce separation, something like that. Uh, you know, you have the Ace of Swords judgment card here as well. Uh, the other thing is, is that there could just be some moments I feel. It's kind of interesting. I feel like there could be some moments over like the next six months or so. Because uh, again, we're entering into eclipse season technically. So, you know what I mean? It's going to be like six months of time basically from the eclipse. And what I would say is I feel like there could be some moments that like challenge your, not like your challenge your morals, but you know, maybe they, maybe there's some moments, some things that pop up that make you question your beliefs, your morals, your ethics, um, you know, pretty much anything personal like that. I don't know what else I'm trying to say, like traditions as well. The higher friend can represent your traditions. And I'm not saying that you're qu questioning these things in a bad way. I think you could just be saying, like, why Why do I make certain things a moral argument? Why do I turn things into a moral issue? Why do I, um, or should something be a moral issue? I just see like a lot of these questions floating around in my head. I don't, I'm not sure why. I'm also getting something about the home as well. Some of you could be moving or buying a new home or something. Uh, I feel like you could be getting a really good deal. <laughs> so, um, you know, I feel like they're, you know, we're entering to this time where the economy is a little questionable. So I always say, like, be careful of making big purchases, especially right now. But at the same time, I feel if you do your research, Ace of Swords, and, and if you're looking to move, some of you, the funny thing is, I don't think you are looking to move, but you are going to. <laughs> Mark my words, Virgo. And I feel like it's going to be great if if that is for you. I don't, I definitely don't think that's for everyone, but for some of you. But what I would say is like really do your research. I feel like you could be discovering some deals, some, you know, some things where it's like, you know, um, I don't know. I, I have a buddy that lives out where I live right now. And, um, you know, he, he has a friend basically who bought a house where there was a crime committed in the house, murder. <laughs> and um, he got a really good deal on the house because some people were killed in the house. And I know that sounds terrible, but again, I'm, I'm just giving you an example here of, you know, kind of, I'm not saying go do that, but I'm just saying, um, you know, there could be like a deal on a house, especially with the economy. It's like maybe something's happening and you could kind of get a really good deal. That's what I'm saying. Uh, next in the area 
of your um, of your thoughts. You have this judgment card. You know, I feel like there are just some things that you want to revisit. Um, I don't even, I'm not suggesting like an ex is coming back or anything. I just think you're re revisiting some ideas, some plans, some thoughts. And it's almost like you're breathing new life into them. And I think I said this to you in a reading recently, where it's almost like you're kind of, I wouldn't even really say you're redoing something. I feel like you're just revisiting something, plain and simple. And this could be like an old idea. And whatever it is, you're, is going to be a victory for you. I'm telling you right now. And I think I said that in the reading, the reading where it's like, if you in, in the past had ideas to start something like a business or a project, you know, I feel there's a lot of success in revisiting that. Uh, in the area of your foundation, here you go. You have the wheel of fortune. <laughs> so luck, your fortune's changing. I really feel this is important. This snake right here, the snake on the wheel of fortune represents your vibrations. It represents using your vibrations to control your reality. So I would make sure you're vibing high. I would make sure you're kind of practicing, you know, positive law of attraction ideas and things like that as well, or just positive thinking in general. The wheel is always spinning and we control the wheel with our vibrations. But so again, if you're keeping it positive, then obviously things are going to go in a positive direction. You also, again, justice and six of pentacles. I always say on both of those cards, you know, which side are you feeding? Are you feeding the negative side or the positive side? Because you get what you feed with both of those cards. Uh, in the past, you have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you finally made a decision, which is interesting, Virgo. I feel in the past, maybe you were kind of bouncing back and forth between, you know, two things. This could be like, you know, two people. You could have been trying to decide if you want to stay with a person. You could be trying to decide if you want to stay in your job and your business. And I feel you've made it a decision. I do feel for a lot of you, something is changing in your business. And I first off, I love it. I'm pretty sure the latest reading I did for you, I was picking up on something as well uh, about your business changing. I feel like there's so much more success coming in for you, feeling more fulfilled as well. Like feeling, even if, um, let's say you make the same amount of money, uh, I, I think that just the fulfillment factor is totally worth it as well, even if your money doesn't go up, which I do think it's gonna go up, by the way, just based off of what I see here. But I'm just saying, even if that didn't happen, I think you would be a thousand, you're gonna be like a thousand times happier with what you do because you're making some sort of change. You have the Ace of Swords here. This is coming up in the near future. So I feel in the near future, you're gonna start making these changes. I don't know that you're gonna see results you know, overnight right away or anything like that, but whatever you're changing, it's like gonna lead to much more fulfillment. Something has to change though. You see this here is a palm frond. This over here is an olive branch. The palm frond represents like a sacrifice in the tarot or can represent some sort of sacrifice. The olive branch represents abundance or you know, it can represent an offer of peace as well. But I kind of feel like you could be almost changing one thing and doing something different in your business. There's some sort of change here. <laughs> We're going to clarify it and look in just a minute. And I feel like it's going to be a big positive change. This could be one of those changes that, you know, especially for those of you in business, I kind of feel like it kind of comes out of the blue. It just, you know, it just pops into your head one day, or maybe you're in a strategy session with someone and it just pops in. It's kind of popping into my head as strategy because the Ace of Swords is a card of tactics. You know, it's a card of being tactical. And so this could be in business or work. Um, for others, and, and by the way, for some of you might not even be in business and work. This could be like in your health. Maybe you come up with a new a new health routine or a new health plan. Uh, could just be your daily routine in general. Um, you know, again, you could be retired. You could be making some sort of changes to your daily routine. And uh, I feel it could really change your day. So love it. Uh, next in the area of the next few months, you have the Five of Swords. I'd be careful of fighting with anyone over the next five, six months, just in general. We have Mars going retrograde. Again, we're going to be in the shadow until like March. So I would just avoid conflict at all cost with the Five of Swords. Five of Swords can also be a breakup or a separation. So we're going to have to look at this um, a little bit deeper. I don't really feel a breakup or a separation if you follow the rules of justice. <laughs> so Again, if for those of you in relationships or if you get into a relationship over the next six months, I would say this right here, justice. Justice is cause and effect, but really this is showing up in the area of your closest relationships, by the way. And so again, even if you don't want love, I feel like this is true for every single relationship that you are in for all of you. I would be creating balance. I would make sure like, again, especially for those of you in love, I wouldn't like, I'm not saying don't spend time with the person, obviously, but I am saying make sure that they're not, you know, consuming your life. Make sure this isn't becoming an obsession. Make sure that you're kind of still operating your life the same way, right? It's like maybe you have certain work that you do. It's like, you know, I don't know how to say this, but it's like sometimes I think we, 
you know, in a relationship, it's like the reason the person fell in love with us in the first place is maybe maybe uh, we have a business or maybe we have a career. And if it's like if we stop doing that thing, we let that person consume our life, then we're not the same person <laughs> that they fell in love with, right? So I always tell people, it's like live your life how you normally would and like don't try to make concessions for someone new coming into your life. Of course, you know, you're gonna have those moments where maybe you go out to lunch with them during the day or maybe, you know, you take them out for dinner and you spend time with them. But again, if they're consuming your whole entire life, I don't know, it's popping into my head, Virgo. And again, this could be them too. This could be a person, the person that you're dating, right? As I always say, it's a freaking war zone out here dating. So I don't recommend it. And what I would say is if you find someone good, you ace of swords, open your mouth, right? If you find them doing things that turn you off, instead of breaking up with them, maybe, it, you know, again, if they're a good person, you know, I, I'm just saying this because I think you don't want to break up with this person anyway, if this is for you, I would just say to them like, hey, chill. <laughs> or, hey, we don't need to spend every two seconds together. It's like, yes, I like you and you like me, but we should be doing our own thing as well. So maybe there needs to be a conversation, right? And again, I, I encourage people to have those conversations because yeah, maybe it hurts their feelings at first, but at the same time, it kind of like fixes things instead of having it turn into a breakup or a separation, right? So uh, that's why I'm a big fan of talking things out. Uh, I'm also getting here, I am, I feel there's something about justice here. Like if you're going through a divorce or separation, I feel pretty good about that justice card. I would say that's for those of you who are already going through it, which we talked about with the Hierophant. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the Six of Pentacles. Again, I would give in balance, but I also feel you, um, I get a sense of freedom here, Virgo, which is pretty interesting. I feel like you feel free to kind of, you know, plant your seeds in all areas of your life. I feel like you're feeling much more creative as well. It's not really a creative card, but intuitively I'm getting something about, you know, kind of just feeling more creative, feeling like you have creative freedom as well. This could be in your job or in your career. Maybe you're getting a position where you have more freedom. If you have a business, same thing. Uh, and maybe in other areas of your life as well, you're feeling like you have the freedom to kind of choose what direction you go in. And it feels pretty good. For some of you, you know, again, I am getting something about health here. I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice. Clearly, I have no clue what I'm talking about. But what I'm saying is that you might be, it's like maybe you're kind of giving your, the self, yourself the freedom of diet, right? It's like there's a million diets. Everyone claims their their diet is correct. I'm sure you've all seen the all the diet people everywhere that talk about every single diet and they all claim they're right. <laughs> but it's like, what if you just found the one that worked for you, right? <laughs> Instead of, or what if you just ate healthy, right? Plain and simple. Um, I kind of feel like some of you, you could be going through that. I don't know, it's popping into my head. And uh, your outcome is the four cups. Uh, I feel like you have a hunger. <laughs> I, and I'm not talking about food, even though I was just talking about food. I feel like you have the hunger to kind of create and explore and explore new ideas. Normally, you know, the Four of Cups is a card of contemplation and apathy. It's like a card of not being satisfied. The funny thing is, I kind of feel more of an adventurous um, sensation here on this Four of Cups for you. It feels different to me. It doesn't, I don't feel, I'm not a big fan of the Four of Cups, let's put it that way, but I actually feel pretty good about it for you. So, you know, I feel like it's more adventurous. We're gonna use the Oracle of the Radiant Sun to clarify now. With the Eight of Wands and the Hierophant, you have this publicity card, love it. There's clearly a lot of attention available for pretty much everyone, but you know, I would say that you get a lot of these cards of getting attention, Virgo. So, you know, number one, if you, Eight of Wands is my card of social media. <laughs> so if you have anything at all that you do work-wise in social media, uh, even if you don't, I would start because I feel like there's a lot of success for you, like in social media, or um, in like online communication or something like that. Uh, but also, you know, again, if you just have a business, there could be a lot of positive attention coming in for you. If you want love, I feel there's a lot of positive attention for you. So get out there. Uh, with the judgment card in the area of your thoughts, you have this domination card here. It's kind of interesting because uh, a lot of, you're like the second or third sign that had this card, I'm pretty sure in that exact same position, if I'm not mistaken. So I feel that, we all could be fearing being dominated. I feel like we all are, and, and what I mean by that is we're fearing that we won't be free. You know, I feel that a lot of fears that could be coming up for people are not being allowed to make their own decisions. There are several, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't talk about po political things on this channel, but there are several decisions that were made this year that affect freedom, right? It doesn't matter what side you're on. I'm not making a statement on that. I feel like I'm, I'm basically, I don't know, I'm a crazy person, right? I don't believe in the government. And, you know, I don't believe that we need to be controlled by the reptile aliens that rule over us, right? Plain and simple. So there you go. I'm an, I'm crazy. Like I said, I don't pick sides. I don't support any of them. But I also don't care if you do either. I support all of you. So there you go. 
But what I would say is, is again, I think there's a lot that could make you feel one way or the other, right? And so we're all fearing that is what I'm trying to spit out here. And so I would just like let the fears go with that card because I, you know, just so it doesn't kind of take up too much brain space. With the uh, Wheel of Fortune, you have this flirtation card. Again, I would take it slow, playful, especially if you're getting into something new. I would have just like a good time and just look at it as an adventure. This is Venus in Sagittarius. So, you know, I'd be doing things to like adventure, have fun, have a good time, kind of flirt, you know, all that other stuff. With the Ace of Swords, you have this achievement card. Definitely some achievements coming in for you. This is due to some sort of change, like I said earlier, some sort of change of work or business, but it could also be another area of your life. But, you know, I really feel work or business for the most part with that Ace of Swords. And again, even if you're retired, like I said, you could be working on something, take it how it resonates. But whatever this change is, it's going to lead to an achievement. The Ace of Swords is an achievement. And it, the sword is above the mountains. The sword, I'll show you, being above the mountains on this card kind of suggests that you will easily be able to overcome future obstacles because of some sort of achievement that you are making. But I also feel it kind of has to do with a change that you're making as well. There could also be some sort of truth coming out. Like, look, you have the sword here. You also have this sword here, which looks very similar on the justice card. So I do wonder if there could be like a truth that's coming out in relationships or something like that. With the uh, Five of Swords, you have this Endurance card. I definitely feel it would be a good time to take a risk. Five of Swords to me is a card of taking a risk. You know, outside of being a breakup card and all that other stuff, to me it's a card of taking some sort of risk to put yourself out there, do something that you've never done before. And here you go. You have this Endurance card. I also like this card in this position because, again, it says that if, it, if you are in a relationship, that it probably won't lead to a breakup. This is a card of Endurance. It's a card of something that lasts for a long time. Sun and Scorpio... Solar eclipse in Scorpio. <laughs> so there you go, right? Like literally, practically the energy we're going through. Can we get one more card to find out what's going on in this situation here? Um, sorry, these are all these are all bunched up and not in a good way. So let's fix it. Uh, with that, you have the risk. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you have this risk card. There you go. Definitely time to take a risk. I feel like you can take some sort of risk. You know, this could be like going farther than you've ever, ever gone before in some area of your life. Like in your business, maybe you're going to charge more money than you ever have before. In love, maybe you only ever get to a certain point and you're going to push past that point. In your health, same thing. So, you know, that's the type of risk I'd be taking here. With the justice card, you have the secrets card. So this is showing up in the area of your closest relationships. I'm not going to lie. I do feel some of you could be learning about a secret about a person who is very close to you, like a family member. Does not feel like love to me. Um, is it a bad thing? I would say no. Uh, for some of you, it could be a little shocking. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And I'm not even going to speculate on what it is. But just, you know, be ready for that. Um, again, I don't want to scare anyone either. You know, it could be like a health thing. I just want to put it out there. So there you go. Uh, I also feel that there could be some truth coming in. The the weird thing is, though, it, it's like if you're learning that someone had secrets in your life, you knew, <laughs> is what I would say. It's too intuitive of a time. So you probably knew something was up if someone is revealing secrets to you, plain and simple. With the uh, Six of Pentacles, you have this order card. Um, funny enough, Six of Pentacles like planting seeds. And you can see here there are these rows of plants on this card. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, you this is just saying do things in your life in order. And make sure to follow the order. Make sure that you, you're not skipping steps, right? Um, and I feel like I kind of get this energy. You are a Virgo. This is Virgo. I, I know you Virgos are very, very careful. But still, I'd make sure you don't skip steps or anything like that. With that four of cups, you have this pra <laughs> you have this practicality card. Also, you're Virgo, very practical. Uh, it's kind of funny because, you know, I feel like you could be going some on some adventures. I get some weird, like, message about an adventure. I'm going to pull an uh, actual... Um, tarot card on the four of cups because I want to know more about this like adventure or whatever but you know what I would say here is I feel that practicality card is saying you're going to see things for like exactly as they are um, you know I know that doesn't really represent practicality but that's kind of what I'm getting here it's like if you see something that you want to do like go on an adventure I feel like it's going to happen exactly as you see it yeah you have this four swords you probably need a vacation honestly three of wands boom you cannot make this stuff up Three of Wands, adventure, like I was saying, you're going on some sort of adventure here. Some of you literally could be moving or traveling, I feel, uh, very clearly during this time. But uh, looks really good, Virgo. I like it. So thank you for being here, Virgo. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your month.